I think we're on our final journey of home ser house searching, manufactured homes. And our final destiny is Kennewick, Washington. Yes, he said that right. Washington State. We're going to Washington State. It's actually a 12 hour drive from Moab, Utah. So that would be a two, 24 hour drive from Dallas, Texas, just to look at a house. Yeah. And we're only gonna be there probably for 45 minutes and then turn around and go back. But it's came down to the manufacturer that we are going to get is Kit Manufacture Homes. Now, we've already decided that we're not gonna, this isn't really a, a long lost trip because we already got one picked out. It's the 2082? 2042. Yeah, they call it the... Cedar Canyon 2042. Cedar Canyon 2042. But when we were looking on their website, really detailed, we found this other one. What's this number? 2087. The 2087. And <clears throat> where we're going is the only place in the United States that they actually have one because it's the only one built. It's a brand spanking new floor plan. It's a plan. brand new floor plan. Now, what we're going to do with this floor plan is called the... Uh, Privacy porch. Privacy porch model. We are going to actually turn the porch into a bedroom retreat. But we don't know if we want it because anybody that's been watching our videos on house searching should have watched the Lula Bell uh, review. Yeah, the Lula Bell that and we drove special. To we go drove see. special just to go see that one, like we're doing on this one. We fell in love with it on the internet. On the internet. Thought this is the one. It's the one. Pete Research found one that we could actually go see. Right. Watch the video. So anyway, we went and looked at the Lula Bell, and it was a total let down i think it was one of the worst houses that we ever looked at and we've looked at hundreds of them yeah as it soon was, as we saw it from a distance we I didn't mean, even have to get close to i it. didn't even know that was it i had to ask the guy twice is this the lula bell yeah and i'm telling you it was like circa 1970 manufactured it was terrible it was the worst thing i ever seen in my life you know when you're spending hundred and eighty thousand dollars just for the house there's no way that you're gonna buy it just from internet pictures. Not we yet. might go out here and look at this thing and say, well, this was a waste of time. It's This thing's a total pile of shit. Now, if we didn't already have a model picked out that we knew we were gonna get, then to me, I would be, you know, thinking kind of shady about the situation of driving all the way out here. Does that make sense? Yeah. But, but since we already got one that we know 100% for sure, that if this is a fail, then, then the 2042 you know. is the one. Right. So we already know if this one turns out to be a fail, we already got one already picked. So. Yeah. And we've already talked prices with them and everything. Yeah. So it's in our budget. So anyway, it's uh, come down to the manufacturer is going to be Kit. Is it called Kit Manufacturing Homes? Kit Homes. In Caldwell, Idaho. We'll see you over in Kennewick. Washington. Now, we're not going to be in any mountains, I guess, right? I don't think so. And you can kind of see where we're at here. We're just we're out, of, out in the middle of nowhere, basically. Yeah. So We were all in farmlands, but now it's yeah. kind of just opened up to now nothing. Now it's desolated. Nothing like But I don't think we're going to be hitting any mountainous area. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, but this is this is an all-business trip. This is the search. Yeah, the we're final not going to the final search for the house. For the house that many of the body shop girl wants. Okay. Very excited. We got a lot of 18 wheelers on the road. Yeah. Let Triple me get back. Pulls. Let me get yeah. back to driving. We got we got a long way to go. Five hours and fifteen minutes. We got two hundred and ninety-six miles before we're there. So shoot, we're almost there. There you go. <laughs> and tomorrow morning we'll see you. Bright and early, at, 9 o'clock. At Gillespie Homes in Kennewick, Washington. I got my fingers crossed.
got here at approximately 9 o'clock last night. Um, got herself a motel room. When you're looking at these houses, you got to travel around, you got to check it out. It can take a long time to actually get to where you're going to go. Uh, as you can see, we thought it was going to be a nice, beautiful, sunny day, but it turned out to be gloomy and freezing cold. But the trip's still going to be worth it because um, we're here. Now, once we get done looking at this house, we're going to head straight out and go back home. We probably won't be back to Moab till probably 2 or 3 in the morning. Before we go look at that house, though, I got to get over to Walmart. I got to buy me a shirt that's going to tell me I'm going to feel a little bit warmer. Well, we're finally here. Um, it's raining like heck outside, as you can see. And we're going to be looking at the model. What model is it? I don't even 2086. know. 2086. 2086. Let's get a good angle on the outside of it. So this is actually the model that we're thinking of getting. This is our second choice. Uh, not much to see on the outside because it's basically halfway built. But uh, we're going to go inside and look at it. This is called the private porch model. Um, it's brand new on the market. They haven't sold any of them. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. As we first walk up, you can see it's got the upgraded, modernized glass door. Uh, Minnie said she liked that. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what we got. Can you open the door, please? So, this is an upgraded door. This door does not come with this home. And we did see this door on the internet. Don't tell me we got the wrong key here. Okay, it's unlocked. All right, so we're going to walk inside. And, wow, look how big it looks in here. Huh. So, right when we walk inside, does the lights work? Does it got electricity or no? No, look. Yeah. Okay, there you go. All right, right when you walk inside, you can see it's got the prismatic windows. Very beautiful. I like that. The living room is actually a pretty big living area. Um, this is your private porch area right here, which we're going to be eliminating. Is that right? Yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and eliminate that. And what we're going to do with this private porch area, we're going to turn that into the uh, library. library or uh, personal retreat from the uh, master bedroom. We'll go in there in a minute. Those windows won't be there. All right, no windows. Those wall will be there. Yeah, he, we were talking about moving that wall back. Uh huh. I don't want to do it. You don't? No, That's a pretty big room. Okay, but you're talking about it'd be too open. I don't know. I think by moving the wall back, probably to that window there, it's going to make this living area look a lot bigger in here. This is a big living area. I like it. I think for two people like me and Minnie, it would probably do. Um, the ceilings are really high in here. Let's go ahead and get the lights on in here and see if they work. There we go. Uh, it's got a real high ceiling inside. I'd say nine foot, at least eight and a half. The coffered ceiling, is that what that's called? I think so. Prismatic ceiling. Prismatic is really makes it stand out and I look love, even bigger. Love that window. Yeah. Now, I did know one thing when he gave us the price. This one's actually more than the other one. Yeah, I know. That's okay. because this one's got fifty thousand dollars worth of upgrades. No, I'm talking without upgrades. With the upgrades that we asked for, this model here is more expensive than the one that's got the two living rooms and the standalone kitchen that's hidden. I'm just letting you know that. Now, let's get back to this wall deal. So we were thinking of turning this into the uh, retreat and eliminating these doors. Of course, all these walls that we're looking at right here will be sheetrocked. We're going to get rid of all the fake wood look, and then it'll be part of the house. I'm still thinking that we should move the wall at least to that window because that's a big room there. I mean, look at if you go from the window all the way to the door there, and then you've got to eliminate that wall, of course. That's going to be a pretty big room, and it would actually make this room look a little bigger, and we can move that table down, and also probably move this down as well see what I'm saying yeah. now we're thinking of getting rid of the windows and putting 
atrium doors there. Atrium doors, which is a style of a French type door, right? One opens, right. one stays glass, closed. A glass okay. door. Yeah. So first impression, before we go any further, what do you think? I love it. You like it better than? You think so? Hmm. Alright, I like the living room. It's a good size living room now. Let's go in the kitchen. Let's see what we got in there. Alright, uh, Minnie saw this on the internet and she really liked it a lot. It makes the kitchen look big. It fills it up. Why do you like that island versus the standard one, if there's a standard one available? Well, we don't even know if this is... Why? Because it's a lot nicer. Right. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. It's got the shelving on each side, glass. Now, if we, now, had, if we had to downsize because of money, mm -hmm. um, right. considering this is way out here. Yeah, that's what I was kind of looking at. Well, I don't mind it being out there, but <clears throat> if we have to downsize, it's going to be obviously a smaller one, so it would still look all right. All right. I would rather have it like even with the counter here. I don't. This sticking out like that kind of makes you want to walk around more, you know, instead of actually flow into it. What do you think? I don't like the glass shelves. Can I go ahead and say why? Why? A lot of clean action going on. A lot of getting down on your knees, cleaning that glass top and bottom. Um, you're cooking in here, grease is flying, you know, you're, you're washing dishes, you know, little splatters of bubbles and water flying. I don't like the glass, I'm sorry. But I do like the counter itself. And, you know, for a display action, I think it's pretty cool to have those lights, but is it really necessary to have them? You know what would be better? What would be better is if this section right here... Was eliminated. Eliminated. And then and push it back that, down. And just have it on that end. And then push it back down and this way. Down where it's even uh -huh. like And possibly maybe and put wood shelves in there and instead of glass. There's yeah. a seam right here, which makes me think this is uh, sectional, mm. and we could leave this section off and just yeah. cut that down. You see what I'm saying? See, I, yeah, I see what you're saying there. This, is, this uh -huh. is a separate piece. Each end is a mm. separate piece. So you can yeah. actually just leave the ends off or one end off and move it. Yeah. But everything we try to do is going to be, you know, cost money. What do you think about that? I love the window. I'll go ahead and say that. And guess what? What's up? Opens. It opens on each side. Oh, it's a slider. That's all right. Um, I'll tell you something I don't like. Uh, I think the kitchen is really small, and to me, the kitchen in here looks like a mobile home kitchen. Long, skinny. Not enough. There's not. There's not a lot of cabinets. It doesn't give you that homey feeling of a real house kitchen to me. Hmm. That's just my opinion. What's your opinion? I like it. Now, what do you like about it versus I don't like? Spice rack. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Are they soft clothes? Yeah, but that's going to be extra. I don't think so. I'll bet oh, you on that oh, one. Lazy Susan, love that. With the lazy Susan. Do we got the soft clothes on these? No. no. That's surprising. Huh. That's oh, wow. Actually look really at that. Look at that. Got a double whammy on there. What do you think about those having those cabinets way up high like that? Um, I, I think it's probably kind won't of, put anything in them. Yeah, I think it's kind of a waste. Yeah. Yeah. So by walking in from the living room over into the dining room kitchen area, what's your thoughts so far? I like it. I think it's just like it was on the internet. It, I mean, I remember when we went and saw the Lulabelle, we were yeah. so excited. And before, just walking up to it, we were disappointed. Mm -hmm. But not this one. Yeah. And once yeah, again, this. oh my God. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can you see the red rocks? Can you see the LaSalle Mountains? Exactly. I can see them. I can see them, every bit of them. Yeah. And once again, I want to uh, go ahead and mention the quality. Um, so look at the the manufacture quality of this home right here the sheetrocking the corners i mean you know um the windows look at the these aren't just your regular average joe white windows you see what i'm saying they actually match the house uh -huh. all right i actually like this color just to let you know color of that 
but the quality of the house itself, this is a kit manufactured home, um, I have found very, very little uh, imperfections in their quality. Oh yeah, this is big, big. How do you like that ceiling? I like it. The way it starts low here and goes high here. I like it. Yeah. Look, it's a pretty good sized bedroom. You could put the bed like it is. Right in front or of the windows. You could even move it over here if you want. Uh huh. So that's two possibilities. You could actually, even put it right there. That wall. Because I've noticed in a lot of these manufactured homes, there's only one place to put the bed, and that's one about place. that's about it. You could actually. And it looks like a king or a queen will fit right there. Oh yeah. For and sure. I like the windows on each side. It gives a lot of air. Yeah. Now this is the wall that we were talking about busting out. Right here. Like well, we'll do uh, either a square opening or an oval opening. And then this will be the room that actually is a... They call them retreats. It's called a retreat. So It's going to be my library. Right, so the porch will be eliminated and turned into a retreat of some sort. Library for, yeah. for me. Now, what do you think about having a door over there where you can go from here to here? I don't want that. Okay. But do you see that. how big this is? I mean, yeah, you, we could definitely cut. I, I mean, I think we can cut that wall back yeah. to that window right there, and then make this room. Yeah, because I think it's like 15 mm -hmm. foot this way. Yeah, that's pretty big. Cut it back to um, 10, 12. Yeah, I thought the room, I thought the porch area was a little wider, but I mean, yeah. I think that would be more than enough for you for a little retreat room. Definitely, yeah. If we get this model, I'm not too sure yet. What's up on that closet action there? The closet is yeah. fabulous, perfect size. Yeah, it is. Uh, in the 2042 that we were looking at, the closet was too big. It was the kind that walks from here and then went around into the... Yeah, I think it remember. was pretty much exactly the same size. Well, actually, it went into the bathroom all the way along yeah, the wall and then it went out. The yeah, yes, you go I think this is a good way. size closet for two people, possibly, you know, if you have a couple kids. Yeah. And here's your access to huh. your underground wow, if look at you that. ever need to uh, get under your house to do yeah. plumbing or whatever. <laughs> and you know what, I'll bet they have that right there due to the fact that all the plumbing in the bathroom is right here on this wall. Alright, we're fixing to walk into the part that sold the house. Now is this a woman's thing or a guy thing or what? This is a, a woman thing I believe. Okay. Uh, a fancy, luxurious, luxury bathroom. All right, go ahead, talk. Well, just look around. I don't even need to talk. I mean, you got the cabinets double, look nice. Double sinks with lots of cabinets, space. Right. Look at that mirror. I wonder if that mirror is actually part of this bathroom setup. I would think so. Do you like the big mirror? Look at this. This is where. This is your spot. Yeah, look at these drawers, all for your makeup Ooh. and stuff. Those drawers are nice to have, but... No, they're like, well, they're like that because you don't want them to fall out. Oh, okay, I guess. And look, this is the grand thing right here. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this walk-in shower, custom walk-in shower. One, two, three shower heads. Three shower heads. Look, I can sit here, shave my legs. No slipping and falling. Got a shelf. Got a shelf for all your stuff. And and you turn the water on right here. Look at it got temperature, temperature on there. Temperature control. Huh. So well, you don't have to stand in the cold water till it warms up. Now if you didn't want to use all them shower heads, can you turn the bottom ones off, let's say? Uh, I would think so. I'm pretty sure, huh? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. That's some fancy action right there. Look at the tile work on this. Really, really professional. Nice. Tight. And it's tile too. Well, you forgot to show them one very, very important thing. Oh. Because we all know that nothing smells like roses. What do we got? For my friend Pete. <laughs> yeah, okay. Private. Uh, actually, this is, I thought this was your bathroom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So look what we got. And an exhaust fan. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and check it out. See, it's actually, you can see by the door opening that there is a lot of leg room. So you and look what else we got. A heater vent inside. For those that sit on the toilet for 45 minutes. There you go. 
The only thing it's missing is the TV on the back side of the door. I'm not sure we could have one of those installed. Huh. Okay, this is my end of the house. Let's go see Pete's end of the house. Your end of the house? My end of the house. Oh, the Queen's, the queen's uh, cave. Suite. The Queen's suite. Got it. Let's go back here. Do uh, you get the feeling this is kind of open living? Kind I, of. It, it's semi, but you know, hmm. I could live with it. Yeah. You don't walk right into the kitchen. You know, yeah. the kitchen's over here, the living room is over so here. So you don't get kind of a, just a feeling that it might be a little bit of open living? Maybe looking at that kitchen, kind of the feeling that's a single wide trailer? No, I don't feel like hmm. that. No. I kind of feel that way. I know you don't like it, I can already tell. My stomach's already all upset. Floor plan over there. Alright, now that we looked at the whole, basically, front of the house, what's going on over here? I was going to go ahead and turn this room into my room which would be my little man cave room due to the fact that I already have my shop and I got my office this would be a room that I can use for let's say uh, to hang my guitars in my little music room put all my albums blah 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 right. but you know what let's go see how big this room is over here because right, we want to use the bigger room right the, right um, and this is, on this is just more like a square huh. yeah because on the uh, master plan or the floor plan it says that room's bigger but I mean I'm thinking you can't really yeah. tell it's hard to tell I kind of like if we're going to do a mm. uh, music room I think the front the front room. room but the only problem we have with that is if I'm in there listening to albums and then you're in there watching TV or whatever uh, let me ask you a question I don't think that would let me ask you a question come on over here I just want your opinion one more time when you look at the ceiling and it gives you this little room. I still get the feeling single wide trailer action. I mean, I'm just saying. Even the. Um, yeah, I see how that ceiling's real high in here. What's going on in this room here? What do we got? This is the utility room, and it's a nice one. Very nice. I'm pretty sure that's extra right there. Yeah, but and you know what I'm going to put there instead? Your sewing machine. My sewing machine. There you go. We got a custom built special table where the sewing machine actually folds up, and that It'll would be a perfect right spot there. if we get this house. I like this uh, utility room. I like the way that there's a sink in between. Is that a porcelain or plastic? It's a fiberglass sink, okay? But it separates it out. You got your cabinets on the top, you got a place here to hang. And the utility room is actually a pretty good size. Yeah, real nice. Now, what do we got over here in this closet? Uh, hot water. And okay, that's our hot water. And then that's a closet. That's pretty nice. It could be a coat closet if you wanted to enter the house right here. Right. But or whatever. More than likely, we're going to have central air, so that's probably going to be. Right no, central air is outside. It's already pre. It's already run out oh. there. All you got to do is hook up the unit. Oh, we put it outside. Oh, yeah. there's the heater there it is, right, right there. there. Okay. Duh. So when you look down the hallway this way, it kind of gives you the angle of it might be a good, nice living house. But once you come around here, I don't know. I'm getting open, open living feeling. Um, it's kind of giving me the angle of why they haven't sold any yet. And for the money that we were going to spend on this, I'm thinking this is pretty small. Mini, the body shop girl. Let me ask you a question. Uh huh. How many square feet is this place? That's what I was just going to look and see. I have all the specs here. The 2086 is 2,242 square foot, and it is three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, the 2042 that 20 we're looking at? 2042. Is twenty two hundred and forty two square foot and exactly the same size? Right, but let's go ahead and look at this. You got two living areas in here. Mm -hmm. You got the master bedroom that's already got the retreat built in it. We can change this bathroom around to a configuration of possibly that bathroom. We got the utility rooms a little bit smaller in this one, but I think we can live with it. The kitchen is hidden between the two living spaces. And then you got one, two, three extra bedrooms. One can be possibly this one, which is a bigger one, as you can see right here. Yeah, that, well, that would be my guitar room. That would be 
and that would make it where we're far away from the living space. Actually, this would go right in the living space here. Look at that. Actually. And then you can have, and then guess what we also have with this one? The Jack and Jill bathroom that you love. Right. We traveled a long way to look at it, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. You don't like it, I already know. I just have, it just gives me the feeling of a trailer living style, especially the kitchen. I mean, this kitchen right here, where are we at? This kitchen right here has cabinets to go all the way around here. You got cabinets here, you got an island in the middle, and it feels and flows like a real house versus this one. You walk in, kitchen bam I mean I mean that's just my opinion you know what I'm saying which one do you like for the money and the investment we got to think of this too we got to think of the investment of the whole situation too if we go to sell it oh I know you know, I know. this house to me is it, it it's the same footage or real close but to me I have I have a very small house feeling in this place here it to me it doesn't feel like a big open house like you know the 2042 does I think we'd be more happy with the 2042 well I know you would be <laughs> oh, but man. guess what it's many of the body shop girls decision and hey, you think I'd pick to me hold on thing? <laughs> to me, it's just a roof over my head where I could, oh, where this dog could lay his bull feet down crap, and go to bull sleep. Oh crap, book! I call BS on okay, that. Well. I call BS on that statement because I guarantee if I said this is the one, you would pitch a fit and then we wouldn't get it. I wouldn't pitch a fit. I just have to grin my teeth and say, "Well, I got my shop. No, you wouldn't. She's got her house. So that's the deal. Uh, we came to look at this one." Hold on, what, what's that? This really sucks. No, come here. I said this really sucks. Why is that? Man, you don't understand. I've been sick all morning. I was actually literally throwing up. Over this house? You saw me throwing up. Well, why would you be sick over this house though? That's a... Okay, I don't understand that one. That's what I'm saying, and I think for 180,000, the other house is a lot more uh, worth the money than this house. I'm sorry to say, but to me, this house is just way too small. Um, it doesn't even compare to the other house, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, but uh, yeah, that's my opinion. You say it's too small, but it's the same exact square footage and every room is bigger it just doesn't have a second living area well maybe it's the kitchen or it feels like open living style to me or something I don't know what it is but it just it doesn't feel like a real house to me it gives me that trailer feeling so we'll have to really sit down and think about it hard because we're not going to pay for it today and I think on the way back today, we ought to stop over there at Carefree and go through that house one more time. I wonder if they got a 2042 on this one. They might. They might. The but the we're going to go and look at a couple other ones anyway. So let's go ahead and get out of here. This is the house that we came up here to look at. This is the one we came up I'm not happy with it. I don't like it. 1,000 miles, one way to look at this house. Many of the body shop girl likes it. I don't like it. Thank God she likes the other one too. <laughs> <laughs> that way we're both happy, right? Oh, my stomach is so upset. I love that window, don't you? It's awesome. I will say the kit. This kitchen. window is going to be in our house, whether it's this yes. one or the other one or a completely different one. We're having that. We're going to have that window. All right, this is Pete. We're going to go look at a couple more, and this is the house we were here to see. I love that window. That's what drug me into this thing. And if we get the other house, well, many of the body shop girls said, you're not getting the big window. Live with the small one. we got to look at it one more time. i got to look at that house one more time. Okay. I have to look at it one more time.
All right. Looks like you're getting ready to throw up or something. Stomach I, sickness. I feel bad. Let's get out of here. Let's go look at some other ones. Actually, I should say having a house built is a nervous situation. Yeah. Because we're not just walking into a, a pre... A, 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 Pre-owned home. We're not buying a used house or a house yeah, that... This is a brand spanking new house that oh. they're going to build to our specifications. Right. And, okay. And, oh, my is this. Let's get out of here. We got a couple more to look at before we hit the road, and we got to get on the road soon. We got a little building coming tomorrow morning. So we got to drive a gotta go. miles today. We got to go. And it's raining. 